So you're looking to get an F-150 and uh, you're probably wondering how much it's gonna cost you to build this exact setup that I have in mind. So this is a 2018 F-150, six inch lift. It's got like 30 different mods on it. So if you're wondering how much it would cost to build this exact setup, let's go ahead and do a price breakdown. All right, so first we'll start with the actual price of the truck and then we'll move into the mod. So this is a 2018 F-150 STX. It's an XL model with the uh, sport package on it. It is a four wheel drive option 5.0 with the four doors. You can probably pick one of these up from $25,000 to $30,000 right now. So we'll say, we'll say a 2018, we'll say $25,000 that you can pick up one of these trucks right now. Um, so that'll be, that'll be our base price. Now let's add the mods. So let's go ahead and jump into the mod list. So first of all, we have the Alpharex Pro Series headlights. Um, these will run you about $700 and uh, they've been on the truck for about three years now. Absolutely love it. Next, we have the um, grill lights here inside the um, STX grill. These are about $109 on Amazon. Oh, by the way, you can pick up all of these parts on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description down below. About $100 for that. Next, we have the Plasti Dipped Ford badge. This is this is just literally Plasti Dip. It's blacked out with Glossifier, so it was like 20 bucks for that. Next, I'll move you to... All right, so after that, we have the fog lights, and the fog lights here were super cheap. They're like sixty dollars on Amazon. Really, really great. Don't get the Mori Motos. The Mori Motos like two hundred bucks. These are like literally sixty dollars. So, great one for that one. Working our way to the side. This is the Bullet Antenna Fifty Cal, and this one runs about uh, thirty dollars on Amazon. Then we have the mirror covers here. These mirror covers were thirty dollars also on Amazon. Already pre-painted. Moving away more to the side, we have the. Uh, door handle covers. These door handle covers were $60 on Amazon. And we have the B pillars up here. And these B pillars are like another $30 as well. Now we have the cargo lights up here. The cargo lights and the third brake light, another $30 as well. We have the reverse lights, $20. This is a uh, Lost Fit $20 light. Next, we have the Tailgate handle, $60. This is the only link that I don't have for some reason. It was a seller on eBay that I bought it from, already pre-painted, so forgot about this one. I don't know where you can buy it. I've had it on for so long. So then you have the tag lights right here. Another $20 for a tag light, super cheap, or $15, $20. Also, plastic dip Ford badge in the back, same thing. This part of the $10, $30, $30 one. So opening it up, obviously it comes down slowly because we have the DZ tailgate assist actually i think it's the winite winu winu winite tailgate assist right here uh 25 dollars pendaliner bed liner really really nice bed liner it's gonna run about 400 dollars um for this and uh absolutely do love it it's been on since i bought the truck so i didn't have to pay for it it already came with it All right, let's move into the window tint. The window tint is 15% in the front that's matched to the back. And then I have a 50% window tint on the windshield. So if you add it all up together, it's like 250 bucks. I literally only had to tint the windshield and the windows on the side uh, because the back windows were already tinted when I bought the truck. So didn't have to do any of that. All right, now we're gonna go to the big stuff and then we'll go into the interior. So to start off, we have the Rough Country six inch kit which was $1,200. And then I have the Fuel Rebel 20 by 10 wheels, which were another $1,400 if you wanna buy that. I have the Kenda Cleaver tires, 20 by 35, 12 and a half. And 35, 12 and a half are 20 for the Kenda Cleaver tires. And those are gonna run another 1,400. Now to get it all installed, you're probably looking at another 1200 for the installation for to get everything. That's the wheel alignment, the lift, tires, wheels, everything like that, okay? Next, we have an exhaust system. This is basically a muffler delete and they welded a pipe and added a tip there. So, it was about 150 bucks for the installation of welding and the tip, which is right here if I can get low enough. Uh, obviously you can't really see it, but there it is. And it sounds really good. Um, I have no problems with it. It's all powder coated black. 
sounds amazing. It's actually the only performance mod. I guess it's not even a performance mod. The truck is basically stock uh, for performance. But we do have something under the hood that I'm gonna show you. So underneath the hood, nothing crazy. The only thing we have done is this oil catch can from Speed Lab. Link in the description for 20% off anything you buy on Speed Lab. Uh, this is about 150 bucks. Installed it myself, um, really easy. And uh, yeah, it's basically the only thing in the engine bay. The rest of the engine bay is absolutely stock. I do not, I don't know if I plan on adding a cold air intake or maybe a tune. Um, I just like the way the 5.0 runs and it's got 100,000 miles on it. So I'm not looking to start messing with the engine uh, now. Um, I think it's running just perfectly and I don't want any problems. So I'm just gonna stick with the stock, make it an intake, make it a tune, but that's about it. And lastly on the exterior before we head into the interior is just this little uh, sticker that I added. And the other one was red. So I like the silver better. I think it matches better so that was about 20 bucks so let's go into the interior because it gets even better as we get inside so we'll start from the front and then work our way back so in the front we have some leather seats uh this is actually a cover leather seat cover for the front seats and in the back as well and those are going to run you probably like 350 dollars uh, I have a link in the description if you want to go ahead and check those out, but they're absolutely amazing. And it comes with the, uh, the center console cover as well. Next, we have some Husky Liner floor mats. Can't stress those enough. Absolutely amazing, about $130 to $140 for that. I have them in the front and I have them in the back and they're great. Save the carpet life. I also have some LED lights underneath I, can. I have some LED lighting underneath, which is, which is obviously the car, the truck is off, but it's right here. And it's also underneath these lights too. Uh, they're, they're underneath this seat, that seat, that seat, and that seat is super cheap. They're like 30 bucks installed it myself. I also have a remote start kit and it's underneath the module. That's right. Yeah, where's the module? Here's the module right here. Link in the description for that one. And I think that's like another 120 bucks. So really, really nice, nice remote start. I do have a radar detector up here. It's not plugged in right now because I don't like the wire hanging down. So this radar detector was like 60 bucks. It's a cheap one, so, but it looks cool. And it is not illegal to have a radar detector. So you should probably get one and probably get a dash cam, which is probably next on my list. Moving to the back. Uh, we have some, if you uh, lift this seat, we have a back seat release strap, which was 20 bucks. And um, yeah, it was really cool. So basically you can pull this lever and then release to the back seat. And the lever sits right here. So it's easy to get to that and you can pull the back seat up. So that's that. I have something in that box, but I'm not gonna show you because that's gonna be for another video. That's an installation that I'm gonna do. And yeah, that is everything. So I'll put the I'll put the total on the screen right now of how much it costs to build this F-150 as it sits right now, including the truck itself, plus all the mods that I've added to it. Now, this is not what it costed me personally because a lot of this I bought three years ago. A lot of it was sponsored products where people sent me stuff, gifts, all stuff like that. So it wasn't really, uh, you know, it probably didn't cost me that much, but if you were gonna build it right now yourself, this kind of truck with every mod I've done to it, it'll cost you that much on the screen. So just keep in mind, that's how much it costs. Um, this truck is paid off. I have, I've had it paid off for over over two years now and um best decision i ever did 
no, no truck payment. All the mods are paid off. I don't oh I don't have any debt. Like I don't have student loans or anything like that. I don't personal debt, I don't have credit card debt. I don't believe in debt. So I like buying things outright. Um, so yeah, I think it's sweet, man. So some next mods that I'm looking at doing is definitely some rock lights. Um, looking at getting a Raptor steering wheel, be pretty cool. And a new gauge cluster, maybe like the, um, the XLT Sport gauge cluster. So I think that would be pretty cool. The Raptor steering wheel will definitely complement um, the, red, the red seats. And so rock lights, maybe a tune, maybe an intake. And uh, we're just gonna see how it goes. And may, maybe, maybe train horns, try to get a little crazy or a PA system, just be a little wild. But there's always something you can do to it. So other than that, if you are interested, link in the description for Speed Lab, you get 20% off all purchases. If you buy an exhaust system, cold air intake, let's say you buy a thousand dollar exhaust system, right? If you use my code PM20 for 20% off, you can get $200 off. That's better than any Black Friday deal you'll ever see, okay? So make sure you use PM20, link in the description down below for Speed Lab, get 20% off your purchase on anything on the site, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.